Hi, I'm Tim Gill, CTO and co-founder of Josh. Welcome to our headquarters in Denver. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to live in the home of the future. Everything would work with the press of a button or just the sound of your voice. 20 or 30 years ago, it wasn't possible, but it is now. And in 2015, we started Josh with the vision of bringing truly natural control into our homes. Today, my team and I are thrilled to share our latest innovations. We're giving you the power to summon the future for your customers, and we're making it easier for you to install and support more projects more quickly. Our goal is to have a Josh system in every project that you do, because it makes your customers happier and you more efficient and more profitable. So let's start the reveal and showcase the limitless potential of Josh for your business. Founded on the principles of elegant design and innovation, Josh AI has been pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence in the home for years. Thanks to over a decade of research and development, Josh enables every user to speak naturally to their smart home using its intuitive voice and app interfaces. Josh is now expanding its capabilities to incorporate the power of generative AI. By tapping into trillions of data points, users can now effortlessly access information and receive answers to any question for the first time. Introducing Josh GPT, the next breakthrough in intelligent living. Josh GPT integrates seamlessly across all Josh devices and applications to empower you with an assistant that has evolved to help with any task. Get ready to experience a world of personalized recommendations and insightful knowledge, all made possible by your very own AI. Hey Josh, what year did the Beatles release Let It Be? The Beatles released Let It Be in 1970. With this technology at your fingertips, you can now receive carefully curated suggestions and tailored insights on a wide range of topics. Whether you're looking for information about your local area, seeking entertainment recommendations, or craving music insights, your personal AI is here to provide it all. Beyond offering enhanced assistance, Josh continuously optimizes your surroundings with its award-winning features and capabilities. Seamlessly control your home in whatever way feels most natural with voice, touch, and text, while Josh adapts to your preferences and daily routines. Enjoy a simple, private, and magical living experience. Elevate your lifestyle with Josh GPT, the ultimate AI-driven home companion. Wow, I'm so excited about this. I mean, I truly think this changes the way that we live with our homes. The ability to ask any question about any topic, get any information right when you need it. And so now I wanna show you some examples of actually using this live. I have a Josh Micro right next to me. And so maybe to get started, let's ask about maybe a date. So I can say, hey Josh, when did Apple launch the iPhone? Apple launched the first iPhone on the 29th of June, 2007. Very cool. And you can always ask follow-up questions as well. So maybe I can say, hey, Josh, how many units have they sold? As of the second quarter of 2021, Apple has sold approximately 2.2 billion iPhones since the first model was released in 2007. It's worth noting that this figure... So that's pretty crazy. And one thing you'll notice is I actually tap the micro to stop it from speaking. Sometimes you'll ask a question and it'll go on for a while. Maybe you ask for a bedtime story or you're asking for something that's gonna be a long answer. All you have to do is tap on a micro and that'll stop it from speaking. So in addition to giving hands-free voice commands like we just gave to the micro, you can give commands to a Nano and you can also use the Josh app. What I love about using the Josh app is I can ask you questions when I'm home or if I'm on the go. And also I can see the response. So sometimes when you ask a question, it might be a longer response. And so it's great to be able to see it written out. One of the examples of this is when you're looking for ideas and recipes for cooking. So for example, let's try this one. What's a good recipe for chocolate chip cookies with nuts? And so what we'll see here is it's putting together a recipe that's kind of long, you know, it's letting me know all the ingredients to use. It's letting me know, you know, actual step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these. This might have been a lot to hear just by voice, but it's great in the app. I can see it, I can follow it. But also if I wanna share this, 
All I have to do is a long hold, and then we see it opens up this screen where I can copy it, I can report an issue, or I can share it. So it makes it really easy to see some of these longer commands. Another great way that I love using this is sometimes you just want ideas of something to do. So for example, maybe I have some friends over, we wanna watch something on Netflix, we're not sure what we wanna watch, we can just ask Josh GPT. What are some shows on Netflix you might recommend that my friends and I would watch involving travel? So, you know, we like travel shows, but let's see if it recommends some stuff that we might not know. So it's giving me some recommendations, a show called Street Food, we've got Chef's Table, Somebody Feed Phil, Ugly Delicious, these sound pretty cool. And I don't know all these shows, so the great thing is it gives me some information about it. And with Josh, because we integrate directly into Netflix, I can simply say, watch Ugly Delicious, for example, and it'll watch that right on the TV. Now, one of the great things too is I love learning new things, and Josh GPT is a great way for me to, to learn more just about, you know, I personally love art, so I wanna ask maybe about that. There are certain artists that I've been learning about. It can help me figure out more about different artists. So for example, I can say, I like the artists Damien Hurst and Jeff Koons. What are some other artists kind of like them? And so we see it even, you know, slightly misheard the last word, heard then, but no problem. It still says, if you're a fan of Damien Hurst and Jeff Koons, you might enjoy, we've got Murakami, Kusama, Banksy, Kapoor, some really good recommendations. So you can use this for pretty much anything, whether it's art, cooking, health-related facts, trivia. There are so many options. But one of the things I wanna show you is, in addition to simply giving a question and getting a response, you can actually use the Josh UI to learn more about certain topics. So for example, we see that music's playing. If I tap on that, we see we have the Chain by Fleetwood Mac that's playing. Well, in the bottom right corner, you'll see we have the Josh GPT icon. If I tap on that, it'll give me more information about this song. So in this case, it's letting me know that it was written in 1977 on their album Rumors. It's giving me some interesting facts about it. It was created through a combination of several different song fragments by different members. You know, the bass riff, for example, contributed by John McVie. It's pretty amazing what it can tell you. And it'll do that about whatever song's on. If I skip over to the next song, we can do the same thing. So over here, we're seeing Elton John, um, Benny and the Jets is playing. So same thing, I tap on that Josh GPT icon and we're pulling up all this information about the song. So really helpful, really great way to just get an amazing experience out of the Josh app. Now you might be thinking, this sounds great, but how do I get it? Well, the great thing is this is actually live now and all you have to do is go to the Josh app and you'll see a pop-up that instructs you to turn it on. You can also go to Portal or reach out to the team and get it going. I'm so excited to see how you're gonna use Josh GPT, start using it, play with it, and send us some feedback. I can't wait to see what you do. With all the possible ways you can use Josh GPT in the home, I'm excited for this next announcement. Hi, I'm Scotty, COO here at Josh. And before we get into the next reveal, let's take a quick look back. Over five years ago, Josh released the first voice control solution for distributed audio and video. This allowed our clients to speak naturally in any room of their home for cable, satellite, and streaming services while managing a complex rack filled with gear in their home. To this day, Josh is the only solution where a client can speak naturally and manage that level of complexity on the back end. A year later, we brought a very powerful tool to the palm of our client's hands. We introduced a new Josh app, complete with AV and video control. This allowed clients to control audio and video for any area of their home without using voice, moving Josh into the control category. Less than a year ago, we furthered our advancements in AV. We announced the first purpose-built remote app for the AVA platform. This allowed clients to use a purpose-built remote solution in any room in their home. We've received a lot of good feedback on this solution. And so our engineering team has doubled down on bringing this solution to the next level. So with that, I'm excited to introduce the newest member of the Josh hardware family, the Josh remote. The power of the Josh remote goes well beyond the Josh app running on the AVA platform. 
The Josh experience is gonna be obvious from unboxing. Right out of the box, you're gonna see that the Josh remote just needs three simple steps to set up. And after that, you have the most powerful remote in the industry in the palm of your hand. Let's give an example of what I mean by that. What's the most awarded movie of all time? The most awarded movie of all time is The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Go to guess Lord of the Rings. So you can see there's a lot of information here that Josh is telling me about this movie, and it's something I could watch. How about we try another command? I just saw Pitch Perfect last night. I'm wondering if there's any sequels to it. Can you tell me if there's a sequel to Pitch Perfect? Looks like there's two sequels to it. I haven't seen the second. So let's go ahead and just give a command for it. Watch Pitch Perfect 2. Now watching Pitch Perfect 2. We believe this remote is the future of AV. And starting today, it's available in our store. We're so excited to see what you can do with it. And with that, we actually want to keep the announcements going. So I want to turn it over to Jack from our engineering team to take it from here. Hey everyone, I'm Jack, a software engineer on the Josh AI team. I'm here today excited to introduce and show off our new feature called Intelligent Areas. Personally, my two most desired use cases are finally solved in Intelligent Areas. First, thermostat control shines bright in Intelligent Areas. Not so long ago, I would tell my bedroom nano, before bed, to make it colder. Josh would respond, where do you want to do that? With no additional programming, Josh is now smart enough to know that my bedroom is on the second floor. The second floor contains my landing, which contains my upstairs thermostat. So my command to my bedroom nano will cover all of the second floor climate. Second, many of us live in modern houses with the new concept of an open floor plan. This open floor plan is encompassed in a great room area, which includes a kitchen, a living room, a dining room, and any other applicable areas. When we put our Nano in the great room or any other Josh device, and we say, turn off the lights, Josh is smart enough to know that the lights in the living room, the kitchen, and also the dining room should be turned off. If I just wanna go watch my favorite show in the living room, I can say, turn off the kitchen lights and only the kitchen lights will be turned off. In the case that you wanna throw a little bit of a party, just tell Josh in the great room to listen to the Beatles or listen to any other party music. Josh will be smart enough to group up your audio zones in the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, any other sub areas and play music seamlessly through all of those. Following this event, intelligent areas will be available on an opt-in basis. So now that we've shown the power behind intelligent areas with voice control, I wanted to hop over to Portal to show what the Josh team has been diligently working on as far as building management. In Portal, a new tab called System Setup is now available. You'll see some sub tabs in there. Most are familiar, but one in particular is new. It's called Manage Building. The Josh team has created the Manage Building interface to easily configure your intelligent areas. For example, this building has a main house with a first floor that contains a main guest bathroom, a main guest bedroom, and a main guest closet. We are going to quickly add a main guest suite to the first floor, and then drag and drop the main guest closet, main guest bedroom, and the main guest bathroom to the main guest suite. Clicking on main guest suite, you see that the hierarchy is updated and the suite now contains the bedroom, the bathroom, and the closet. You'll now be able to leverage all of your voice control power behind intelligent areas. Thanks for letting me show off my new favorite feature, intelligent areas. I'd like to hand off to Lauren from our support team to show off device defaults. Everybody. This is Lauren from the Josh AI support team. I'm here to tell you about an exciting new feature we have, device defaults. I'm super excited, so let's dive right in. 
Okay, everybody, let's go to the Josh portal and click on devices. I have the lamp in the living room and I don't want it to come on at 100% brightness every time I turn it on. Instead, I think I want it to be at 75%. So to configure this, I'll click on lights, expand the main house, expand the first floor, and then finally expand the living room. Click on the living room lamp tile and you'll see the new option to set device defaults next to the existing light controls. Let's go ahead and dive in. First, I'll enable light defaults, which will expose the ability to set default for all the light properties. Let's go ahead and set the startup value to 75%. Next, go ahead and click on save device settings and you are good to go. Device defaults is available for other device types too including AV, shades, and fans. For fans, let's navigate to fans and set defaults on our southern fan. Same as before, click on the fan and click on the defaults option. Enable the startup speed and set to your liking. Now, when you say turn on the fan, it will go to this level. Thanks for checking out device defaults with me, you guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Lauren, for taking us through device defaults. We can't wait to see how all of you use this in your new client projects. In addition to device defaults, today we announced Intelligent Areas, as well as a new system setup tool. We also launched a new piece of hardware, Josh Remote. And finally, Josh GPT. These five announcements change the game of what's happening with control in the CI space. There's a new model for what we can do with client systems. We're building solutions to help you deploy projects faster and make your clients happier with the end result. It's simplifying their interface with the technology they use in their home. We're so excited to partner with you and see where we can take Josh in the future.